right, so we're going to do a price floor and price ceiling question. This question asks for two things. First, it sets a price at 400, and then it sets a price at 800. And you'll see that there's different changes with the price ceiling set above and below equilibrium. So the first part sets the price ceiling at 400. So you can draw this on your graph. Draw the price line from 400. So we have the price set at 400. Because it's a rent ceiling, you can't go above it. So think about the ceiling in your room. You can't go above the ceiling. So what this makes, what this happens in the graph is it restricts the price, all the prices above 400. So you can't do any of these prices. You can't do any of these prices. But you can set a price below 400. Now what happens here is because equilibrium, the point that we want to be at right here, is within this area of restriction, we can't produce there. So this forces the economy to have an unequal quantity of supply and a quantity of demand. So here's how you find a quantity of supply. So we have our supply curve here. Here's our demand curve. Where the supply curve intersects the price of 400, that's the quantity supplied. So here's our supply curve. Here's 400. And that line right there is the quantity supplied. So suppliers are supplying $2,000, 2,000 units of um, rent. Now where the demand curve intersects the price is where the quantity, where we have quantity demanded. So where you have the price of 400, demand curve, where this intersects, this is our quantity demanded, which is about 4,000. So to answer the first part of the question, because quantity demanded of 4,000 is greater than quantity supplied of 2,000, you have a surplus. No, sorry. You have a shortage. A shortage of 2,000. The 4,000 that consumers want, people are saying, hey, let's get 4,000 units of rent, but suppliers are only giving out 2,000 units of rent. So that's a shortage in the market. The second part of the question moves the price ceiling instead to 800. So what this happens here is we'll set our price at 800. And remember, with the price ceiling, you can't go above it. So the area of restriction here isn't above 400. It's rather above 800. And this is different from the price ceiling at 400 because Equilibrium isn't restriction, restricted now. Now we can produce at equilibrium. So because the economy will naturally return equilibrium, we will set our price here. I mean, we will set our price here, and we'll set our quantity here. So price is 600, and the price is 300. And as you can see, where the supply curve intersects the price of 600, we have quantity supplied of 3,000. And where the demand curve intersects the price, we have a quantity demanded of 3,000. And they're equal. So since they're equal, there is neither a shortage nor a surplus. Now, say instead that this price ceiling, it, it was not at 800 of price ceiling, it was an 800 price floor. If this was a price floor, then you can't go below it which means that now we can't produce at equilibrium. So what's restricted now are all the prices below 800. It's a price floor, so you can't produce below the price. So we have our price set at 800. Now our quantity supplied and our quantity demanded will be different. So where the price intersects the demand curve, here's our quantity demanded of 2,000, where the price intersects the supply curve, we have our quantity supplied of, of 4,000. And because the quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded, we have a surplus. And that's how you solve rent ceiling questions.
the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.